What's happening, everybody? Welcome to all my fellow gangsters and geeks. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games, working on the Lesser God and the Third Person Shooter Kit 2.5. So, what we got going on today, guys, is I did end up figuring out how to get those animations and tie them and uh, get him to sprint. When I'm a distance away from my AI character, you'll also see that I added a marker to identify my character versus the other aliens that are in the game. Um, I did set it up uh, where my aliens will spawn now. Let me get that light out of your face there. Where uh, the aliens will spawn and they either come with a helmet or without a helmet. If they do not have a helmet, what happens is they will be able to be killed with one shot to the head if you get that shot in um, and if they are like this one here he doesn't have a, a helmet on um, and if they are wearing a helmet obviously you're not gonna kill them with one shot to the head so uh, you'll just have to put in that work to try to kill them um, also I did add my zombies I'm starting to add them I do have the males in. I don't have the females or the crawling zombies in yet but I do have these in. Um, they are able to injure me and the AI characters who they do go after. Uh, occasionally, they will go after the AI. I'm trying to get them to gear more towards who's closest to them as opposed to always trying to come after me. They tend to, no matter what I do so far, uh, want to attack me over everyone else, um, but they will attack the uh, other AI as well as my enemies. Um, and then also the uh, AI will attack the zombies um, no matter what. They will attack the zombie. They will attack the zombie before they attack me if the zombie's closer to them. So I am loving that. Let's go ahead and go in, guys. Um, I'll just try to explain other things as I'm going along here real quick. Okay, so there you go. See, he's coming towards me. I did add the effects as well. So I did add the effects. Um, I do want to uh, get the AI maybe to stop shooting at them um, sooner after they die. They continue to uh, shoot at them until their bodies vanish. You'll see I added sounds as well for when, she, when a grenade's close or if she throws a grenade, she will announce that. Um, I did add spawners. So there is a spawner that is spawning, uh, randomly spawning um, zombies. So you'll see zombies spawning. Um, I did set the characters up as well. The AI, they are able to zoom right in on those zombies and get those headshots and other shots that they uh, need. But you'll see how he switched back to the zombie because the zombie's closer. Um, I do want to base a little bit more logic, like if the zombie is, is on the ground and crawling, that he'll go after me over the zombie because he'll see me as more of a threat. So we'll figure all that stuff out, hopefully, as we go along here. But everything's working really well so far. Um, and you see the zombies just wander until they see someone. If they see someone, then they'll go after them, but they just wander until then. So I really like that. And then I do like the identification of my character. If I get within, uh, I believe I set it for uh, 500, then it will, uh, the notifier will go off. And she does know when zombies are near. You'll hear that she's saying, uh, actually announcing it. I want the zombies to be more alert to sound as well, so I'll work on that. Also responding and turning around and facing me when I shoot them as instead of running away. So maybe I'll have to do something that sets their... Uh, vision different or just set them to be alerted to the shot or to maybe chase after the whoever uh, fired the shot we'll figure all that out oh wow I'm gonna be surrounded here right now also the grenades do not affect the zombies so I'm working on that but have not achieved it yet because they're, it's based on a hit system, so 
Number of hits? Oh, wow. I'm getting out of here. I got to go refill, so I'm going to go ahead and... And I'm going to set up the glide so that it only works for a certain amount of time to get you out of a situation real quick, and then you're back down, so you can glide for a moment. And then it'll increase as you uh, level up. Y'all know the drill. Ooh. Wow. They are at me. Come on. It'll be nice when I get the grenades to work, be able to take them out. I also have several different um, deaths. If you watch my other, uh, my outdoor setup, I, I still have to put all those in. Right, right now, all of the zombies die the same way, but I do have more unique deaths so that it's a little more random. There we go. But anyway, guys, that's what I have. Um, I have a lot of work to do, but it's looking really good. Uh, the quality, the color, um, the frame rate, everything's going really good. I did also add some uh, locked doors and gates. I'm still working these out, so they're not active yet, but they are in place and they, they are a part of the story. They've been on the map before I moved it to this uh, kit. So we're gonna continue to implement all of the original setup of the map according to my story. But um, everything really looks good, guys, man. I thank everybody who has subscribed since the last time I put a video up. I do appreciate it, guys. Um, I'm going to get off of here, though. Um, I'm going to be adding some more melee. Um, I did add a, a few more melees, but um, I'm going to be adding uh, some melee weapons. That's my goal is to add melee weapons. That's what I'm going to be working on, so we'll see, guys. Anyway, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.